hello guys good morning good afternoon and good evening depends on your location at this time of the day so i have a breaking news for you today today is tuesday the 22nd day in the month of september 2020 so guess what finally apc has conceded defeat in a dual state election and not only conceding defeat they also admit that a dual state election was free and fair and they have given directive to adam zoshumule remember when obaseke uh, won the election even the president congratulated obaseke but adam zoshumule being his god former should i say former godfather okay has not said anything for now so apc has also issued a directive to adams oshumule okay so i will give you more details of this gist but before then please don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell notification so you get updated whenever we have breaking news trending news what is going on across nigeria for you guys so let me just uh, quickly give you the news in details the governing of all progressive congress apc yesterday monday conceded defeat 24 hours after godwin uh, governor godwin obaseki of the pdp was declared winner of the do state election so chairman of the keteka and um, his austro also extraordinary national convention uh, planning committee my malabuni in a statement titled a do state governorship election victory for democracy which is signed congratulated obaseke over his victory so buni said a do state governorship election is over the winner has been declared by the INEC in the persons of mr godwin obaseke candidate of pdp we hereby congratulate the winner of the election the people of Edo State and all Nigerians, the peaceful conduct of the election and its outcome represent victory for Nigerian democracy. All right, so um, that was the statement. So he continued um, by saying, as a party, we join our leader, President Buhari, to affirm our commitment to free and fair elections in order to strengthen the foundation of our political and moral authority we commend INEC as security agencies and all political parties that contested the election for the successful conduct of the election as a governing party we will take every step necessary to support the federal government to consolidate all the gains achieved all right so um, like i said apc has um, finally congratulated um, Obaseke on his re-election. So remember, um, there is this possibility, all right, that um, uh, the rumor that Hopu Zodima is um, planning to head to tribunal to challenge the victory of God with Obaseke, um, even though APC may not be the one directly, all right, uh, even though they may not directly uh, be the petitioner, well, you know how the game is always played. Um, they can use another or lower political party uh, for the petition okay we should not be surprised if that should come up so we really don't know for now if um, APC will go ahead to challenge the victory of Obaseke in the tribunal but nevertheless um, they have also asked the former national chairman of the party Adam Zoshumule and other leaders in the Do state to congratulate Obaseke okay on his re-election so he also made the statement known that same yesterday i'm talking about uh the apc national caretaker committee governor maimala boni okay um he also held like i said he held um Izeyamu for his uh, tenacity and leadership before during and after the election all right and um, he met with Mr. President that yesterday alongside with Ganduje. So um, I really don't know if it is unconnected to a do state election. But so far, APC has congratulated Godwin Obaseke and also urged Oshumule 
and other members of APC in a do state to congratulate um, Obasike on his re-election. So Shumule is here to do that. Um, I really don't know if the shock, he is yet to recover from the shock and shame because um, I really don't know people, it's, it's so shameful. It is so shameful, all right? It is so shameful. So um, if I were to be Oshumule, I would do the same thing until I come out from my shock or I come out from my shame before doing that. So the party have asked Oshumule to congratulate Obaseke on his re-election. So let me know from you guys, do you think from the way things are going, Oshumule will congratulate Obaseke? being the fact that he was his godson and Oshumule was the godfather of Obaseke that was then all right things change change is a constant thing all right people people move on so that is just it okay the friends you have today it is not guaranteed that those will be those people will be your friends tomorrow but do you guys think Oshumule will you know concede defeat um, hide his face in shame and congratulate um, Obaseke on his re-election. Let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. But for me, I believe Oshumule will not do that with reason. Number one, Oshumule, we all know him, is a proud person. Yes, I respect him because of not about being proud. Okay, let me not be specific. Oshumule, um, is a proud type in a way that he is bold, his confidence, and so on. So I respect him for that. In as much as I am not supporting APC or PDP, but for this godfatherism of a thing, all right, I believe I give it to Obaseke. So I believe um, because of the boldness, because of the the proudness of Oshumule, I really don't think Oshumule. And for now, he is irrelevant. He's no more the national chairman of uh, APC. People already warned Oshumule that that office is not your father's company. That one day, the way you were carrying, the way Oshumule was carrying this party, APC, okay, the way he was carrying, people were not happy with him. He took it as if it was um, his father's business. I mean, making decisions. We all see what happened in the do state, making decisions who to uh, give the uh, flag bearer, the governorship flag bearer, and who not to give. So that is the update I have for you this morning on Edo State election. Do you think Oshumule will um, congratulate Obasiki? Let me know what you think on the comment section below. See you guys in another video.